family and I stumbled across this spot last week and I thought we'd come back and make a little video about it because we thought it was pretty cool. Uh, established spot, it's got a fire ring, plenty of grass to sleep near, on, whichever. Plenty of flat ground to sleep on, set up tents, what have you. Thingy, what are you doing? The other thing we noticed is the abundance of elderberries out here. Look at all these elderberries. Elderberries, elderberries, elderberries. So because of the abundance of elderberries, we called it Elderberry Camp. Uh, we found it to be a really nice spot to camp. It's extremely remote. Uh, elevation says it's right about 6,000 feet. And there's just elderberries absolutely everywhere right from here. Uh, along the trail in, there's lots of them. In. So over about where our truck is parked, the road does a nice tight turn right in here. So if you do plan to come in here with a trailer, make sure it's a short one. Ours is a 10 foot minus the tongue and I can get it in here. It would probably, it would probably get a little scratched, but much bigger and it's definitely gonna get really scratched. So um, anyway, this is a cool spot. It's really pretty, it's really quiet, it's really remote. Another nice aspect of this spot is the main road is up over there. You're gonna hear anybody coming for a long way away. So to me, this meets pretty much all of my criteria. The one thing I wish I had was some uh, water to swim in. But hey, you can't ask for everything. Let me take you over here and show you this view. Here's the edge of camp, looking out over the valley. Granted, there's trees in the way of some of it, but it's still beautiful. And where you can find gaps in the trees, the view is really pretty. Yeah, I'll take you a little further. So right now I'm standing on this dead log. But as I turn, you can see, look, more elderberries. And if I raise you up as high as I can, look at that view. So let me go get you the coordinates to take you back. And then I'm gonna hand you over to Pepper and we're gonna see what she's gonna do for her tour of this spot. Here we are at Elderberry Camp. We're just naming these things ourselves because of course they don't have any names on any maps that we've seen. But this is one of the best ones I've seen so far. If you like a warmer, sunnier, open location, you couldn't ask for much better than this. My plant geek side is bursting with joy. Check it out. You're sheltered by a lot of beautiful young shrubs. And in the background, you have these tall trees to form a beautiful perimeter. And then look, elderberry, 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 elderberry. It seemed a natural name. You've got plenty of flat ground for tents all over the place. Pile of logs for the occasional lizard spotting expeditions. And just every kind of wildflower that I've ever wanted to see in a California landscape. We have gooseberries, we have native bleeding hearts. Check them out. I never see those. 
especially not blooming so beautifully. And that's not even the big patch. There's amazing ones even further away over on the other side. But here we have a nice round open space surrounded by elderberries, ready to burst into bloom. I'm sure they're gonna be covered with a ton of berries in the fall. Little native grasses and sedges. A very crude fire pit over here that obviously needs to be refreshed and improved. But plenty of open space so if the conditions are right, you can have a fire without worrying too much about fire danger. A few little trails you can explore off in different directions. Another enormous, ancient, beautiful elderberry thriving. There's a ton of water in this area. So things are just really lush and beautiful. I'm trying to think of what reasons I wouldn't want to come here. And I can't think of any. This is again another spot where we made it stock vehicle, stock uh, 2014, 2500, nothing modified. Standard all-terrain tires. No, actually, they're highway train tires, so HTs, whatever. I'm not a tire guy. They are not all ATs, and we had no problems at all. Um, now, I don't know about getting a car back in here, but uh, anything with decent four-wheel drive and some kind of tires, you should be fine. <laughs> Thank you. How far away does it focus? Is it going to be? Oh, it'll focus. Hell, look close. Okay. Uh, 